Well, folks, I think we're finally ready. I think we're finally ready to witness a really amazing thing happening in No Man's Sky. And no, this is no late April's full joke. No Man's Sky is probably really 100% going to get an EXO mech update, if you can believe that. Yes, mechs are going to be dropping to No Man's Sky hopefully really, really soon. And we have some leaks to go over because... Yeah, somebody did a major screw up, for which, by the way, I'm really grateful. Whoever screwed this up, thank you so much. This gets me really hyped, this looks very amazing, so you know what? Let's jump into it, and as always, a thumbs up on this video would definitely be super awesome. But, let's begin with the actual leaks. So, a huge shout out to the Reddit user called Sysgoblin for actually stumbling upon this, because nobody was actually paying any attention to this. But apparently, Green Man Gaming, a website that specializes in selling CD keys and games and whatnot, and yes, they are 100% legit, I've used them in the past, but they also leaked a bunch of images from this supposed upcoming up date that according to this screenshot right here is most probably going to be called the EXO Mac update and it kind of makes sense it kind of follows a similar theme to our living ship update which was all about yes you guessed it living ships so this is probably gonna be some of that but this time around for EXO Max, which again looks and sounds really exciting and this ladies and gentlemen is exactly what i would have envisioned an exo mech to look like in a game like no man's sky it pretty much follows and respects the exocraft theme that already exists in the game to a t so yes this is what i would have uh, kind of expected this to look like kind of looks like a transformer a little bit which begs the question what kind of functionality will it have we're gonna dive into that in just a little bit but we also have have like a screenshot from the back to see exactly how it looks like probably there's going to be multiple different models to this this might be all like generated by the you know automated generation so we might have different models going on like how it was with the living ships because there has been some data mine stuff that kind of indicates different models as well over which i'm going to go in just a little bit as well um, nonetheless um, these images were eventually reverted to so now the store page is back to the living ship screenshots which is even a bigger indication that this isn't an April's full joke but you can still access those images as long as you of course have the direct links which are gonna be posted in the description box down below if you want to access them they're just low resolution so be mindful of that now I know what you're thinking you might be thinking well what if this is just an upgraded version or new models for the already existing Walker Sentinels and to that my friend I would say that you'd probably be wrong for two main reasons the first one obviously we can see right here in one of these screenshots that the character is sitting by the side of the exo mech kind of implying that it's there as a companion at the very least and at most as something that you get to ride and use and walk the terrain around with and also we have a data mined information from a while ago and again a huge shout out to another reddit user called Charles DMC dump it's basically a pun on Donald Trump and whatever but he actually discovered some really interesting details as early as the synthesis update actually they have been added in the game as early as the experimental synthesis update so this is when the first mentions of these exo suits exo max um, existed now there's not much information going on over here it's just information about the fact that it exists that there's animations in the game as early as well the time of making this video and there are some functionalities one of which apparently is hovering so it actually looks really exciting what does this mean in terms of functionalities well here's a few theories that have been floating around as well as a few of you know my visions when it comes to these sorts of things so first of all if they were to be adding a new exocraft that walks so you have to physically walk over terrain it most probably means that they have updated a bunch of animations to make that walk a little bit more smoother because if you look at the walkers currently in the game they are kind of stiff when it comes to walking over terrain that isn't flat so whenever they are you know over um, bumpy terrain whenever especially so when they're climbing like hills it looks really awkward so at the very least i think that they are most probably going to bring all of this with some really nicely updated animations to go alongside with that which also begs the question what can this thing even do well first of all let's go over the obvious thing it's most probably going to be able to traverse 
things even easier so this might include flying hovering even walking and will this mean that it can ride from one planet to another can it go in space i think that there's a high possibility for that to happen i think that there's a huge possibility for this mech to be rideable from one planet to another and this might have bigger implications later down the line one of the main reasons why i believe that might be the case is because recently halo games has also made it so that you can summon these extra crafts from any planet in a given system as long as you already summoned it on any of the other planets so let's say you're on your home planet summon an extra craft leave it there and then move to another one you can summon it on the other planet because of this update that happened few months ago which wasn't the case in the past as you always needed to rebuild another geo bay in order to do that now if my theory about going with this extra craft in between planets and actually using it to fly into space is correct this might very well bring unparalleled convenience to pretty much every aspect of the exploration first of all this is the first ever well feature that you can use both in space as well as on planet surface and in the atmosphere if that were the case that would fix a lot of you know a lot of problems when it comes to exploration always having to pick up your ship recall it jump into it fuel it up and then when you want to go on the planet surface and do your thing you kind of have to exit and continue and do your stuff so it's not always ideal this also raises issues with for example game saves and save files since obviously exiting a ship makes your game save a file automatically but we're gonna you know leave that for now nonetheless the question that arises next and something that has been speculated by other members of the fan base is does this also mean that we finally get to land on asteroids and i know it kind of sounds like what is there even the connection between an exosuit a mech and a freaking asteroid and this kind of makes sense when you put it like this so we already have the possibility of actually landing well not really landing like walking on asteroids with our characters it's something that i've showcased in a previous video that i've made it's definitely possible you just have to survive the harshness of space which most of the time will kill you but you can bypass this with a very upgraded character or if you're playing on for example creative mode now only thing that is missing right now is having something to actually protect us from that environment obviously landing with our ships on those asteroids is problematic for you know terrain tracking reasons or whatever you cannot really recall your ships on your asteroid but this can be a possibility with an exocraft and even more so with a mech suit such as this what if they give us the possibility of actually you know just running up with this in the sky going into space and then landing on an asteroid would be as simple as aiming your camera towards it and then just landing over there without any restrictions without having to press any land button you don't have to take into account any of the terrain bumps the game doesn't have to do any calculations all you have to do is to just land on a 3d rendered model that already has collisions which already exists in the game so this is why i fully believe that well at the very least there's a strong indication that hell games might couple this feature right here with something that might give us more space exploration like recently we saw that hello games added random events one of these events is also one of these crashed freighters which um, kind of has rooms inside of it it kind of looks like something that you might be able to explore and land in but that's not possible with a ship what if that was also possible with one of these exocrafts anyway on a final note as far as as the rest of the functionalities i'm expecting both combat capabilities as well as mineral extraction so i fully expect something like huge cannons to be installable as upgrades maybe some you know iron cannons maybe some other types of firepower that you can install on your character to take down sentinels even easier like just imagine going head to head against a walker which by the way i fully expect them to also bring like walker upgrades and make them even more powerful now that we have um this this exosuit this exo mech that might make combat a little bit easier i also expect the same with the mining capabilities maybe like a powerful drill 
to extract resources faster, maybe even a new type of resource that can only be found in certain places. Again, throwback at that asteroid I was talking about. So what if there were new types of asteroids that can only be mined with this thing? That would be really awesome. Again, a lot of these things might be far-fetched, but um, since all of these updates look very insane, they look very amazing, and since Hello Games always surprises us, I don't think it's too out of whack to actually expect something like this when all of the previous updates were even crazier than we anticipated. But yeah, let me know down below what's your opinion on the Exocrafts, on the Exomax as a matter of fact. Do you love this feature? This is something that you were expecting from a game like No Man's Sky and even better, would you enjoy the game more if we had something like this today? Leave your comment down below and in the meantime also don't forget to subscribe and activate that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next one.